what is up friends thank you guys all also very much for clicking on today's raise bakes video in today's video we are going to be making a simple two ingredient cake mix truffle now all you are seriously going to need is a box of cake mix and a eight ounce eight ounce box of cream cheese that's it that's all you need and you just need a few hours, just a few hours, just a few hours to create these. Basically, all we're gonna do, mix these two together. You're gonna chill them for a minimum of two hours, then dip them in chocolate, fill some cake pot molds, whatever you need to do. So this is gonna be super easy. So let's just jump right into this video. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is we're gonna take our block of cream cheese. Now I'm using a third less fat because that's all we actually have at the house at the current moment, but you're gonna let it sit out to room temperature and get nice and soft. And then we're gonna go ahead and beat it up. Okay, once your cream cheese is beaten and everything is nice and creamy, we are going to slowly add in our cake flavor or cake mix. I am using a strawberry supreme for it to be like a strawberry cheesecake. You can use Funfetti, you can use Carrick, Red Velvet, Chocolate, whatever your little heart desires. You can customize this to any flavor, add food coloring for, you know, customized colors. You guys know the drill. You don't need, don't need me to tell you what to do, but just for some suggestions. So let's get to adding this into our mixture. Okay, so as you can see, the dough is all mixed. It is very nice and soft, pliable, moldable. And then like I said, you're just gonna chill this for a few hours. And then, like I said, put it in cake pops, put it in molds, whatever you need. But first, before we do that, we have to chill this mixture for a few hours, minimum of two, and then we can use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and then put it in the fridge. Okay, so now that our mixture is nice and cool, it's been in the refrigerator for about two hours. I pulled this cute little strawberry mold because it is strawberry flavored. So I pulled this cute little mold and I just have some hearts because this is a good recipe because Valentine's Day is coming up soon. And then I'm just gonna make some regular size balls. So I'm gonna fill these up and then I'll probably put these in the freezer and then just roll the rest of them.
friends, that's gonna conclude today's video. Somehow this turned into a Valentine's Day video. Was not my intention, but that's just the way it went. Here is the inside texture of the ball. And then that of course is the outside. Now, a lot of these bigger ones, and I am going to show you this tray, these all legitimately split in half. But the strawberries did not. So I'm thinking because they weren't as cold and they weren't as thick because some of the hearts did also split as well. Not all of them, but the bottoms mainly split. This one did crack in half as well. So yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, please be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through. So don't be a dick. Thank you guys for watching. Happy baking and creating, doing all kinds of candy crafts. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.